All right, turning to the weather in North Texas, we had storms yesterday, Aaron, the, the clouds, and we got a little bit of rain this morning, too. Yeah, we had some lingering showers this morning. Our, our Dallas Sky Cam even has a few raindrops as of 6 a.m., but uh, that quickly faded away. We had some fog and some clouds earlier this morning. There have been periods of more sunshine over Dallas and Fort Worth, but now we've got the clouds. It's going to be a mix of sun and clouds into this afternoon. Remember, we had that cold front move through yesterday, so that cold front is off to the east. You've got these northwest winds behind, so still kind of ushering in some more mild temperatures. It looks like the clouds still want to linger uh, for the next few hours, but we're hoping to see them break up a little bit more. So temperatures should be able to get into the upper 60s, some low 70s. That 10% chance for rain was earlier this morning. We should be dry through the rest of the day. But another weather alert. Tomorrow. Coverage is at 50% during the day. It's going to pick up into the overnight hours, but I think the threat for severe storms will be in the afternoon and evening on Friday. Storm Prediction Center does have the Metroplex under this level three enhanced risk. It's got pretty much everyone else under that level two slight risk as well. As a cold front kind of works its way in from the west, we're expecting storms to develop to the west of I 35 and then kind of intensify as they move over the I 35 corridor into tomorrow afternoon and evening as well. So let's talk about this. Strong to severe storms expected for tomorrow, which is why we issued the weather alert. I think the time frame is Friday afternoon and evening. We'll start to watch for storm development around 1, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, and it's going to continue into the early evening hours. Main threats are going to be hail, damaging winds, and even isolated tornadoes. And as I just showed you, that level three enhanced risk of severe storms does include the Metroplex. Now, the difference between what we saw yesterday and what we're expecting tomorrow, remember, yesterday, we had a lot of rain and storms in the morning. That stabilized the atmosphere. The clouds lingering into the afternoon just didn't allow for temperatures to warm back up, for instability to kind of build back up. So it pushed that severe threat farther south into central Texas and kind of south of I-20. We did have some of our counties to the south of I-20 see severe storms yesterday afternoon and evening. Now here's Friday tomorrow at 8 a.m. We've got some clouds working in, but we do not have rain and storms. And so I do think that as temperatures warm into the low 80s tomorrow afternoon and then that cold front works in from the west. We're expecting to see that storm development west of I-35. Then they kind of move along the I-35 corridor and they push east as we make our way into the early evening hours. But then uh, as this upper level system kind of rolls through overnight, we've got more rain and storms. I don't necessarily think these are severe, but I do think some heavy rain will be possible. Pockets of heavy rain along with a little bit of thunder and lightning as well. But it should be clearing out as we get into Saturday afternoon. Saturday looks like it's going to be a little cooler in the mid 60s. But the sunshine is back on Sunday, Karen, with highs near 80 degrees.